Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today we are doing something a bit different. I figured, you know, for the new year I'll try something new. And I've heard a bit about this, but I wanted to try it out and I wanted to share it with you all as well. Uh, right here, we have a Loot Crate. This is January's Loot Crate. Now, I know this is available in the US. It might be available in Canada. I don't know. It ships out from, where does it ship out from? Let's see. Down here, it ships from Pasadena Avenue, uh, Los Angeles, California. So... I don't know if it ships out to Canada. I'm sorry, I really don't know. You're gonna have to check on that. I'm gonna put the Loot Crate website down below. And uh, admittedly, I, I am coming and saying this just in case anyone tries to think, you know, I'm trying to get money from them or anything. But I'll put my link down there. I have a referral link. If you make an account on there and subscribe, you do get a referral link. And uh, if you go through that, you know, it helps me out a bit. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to support or you don't want it, it's all good. I understand. I'm just putting that out there because I don't want to make something shady for you all out of this. But hey, links down there if you want to get your own. And I believe there, you can get them in tiers. I got the three month package. So it's like $12.37 plus like $5 shipping and handling, something like that. So I've heard about a bit about these and uh, I've seen a few videos here and there. They did look pretty cool. It's pretty much a box that comes every month full of cool stuff that gamers and nerds and geeks might like. So figured it was cool. And uh, some people I know in the UK across the pond from here did want to kind of see what was going on with this month. So figured I'd help them out a bit. Anyways, the actual box itself right here, it says Loot Crate on the back. You got the nice little hashtag and everything. The box is pretty cool, honestly. And uh, then on the bottom here, there is a launch base. So I don't know if this is a every month thing or if this is something for January, but we're gonna go ahead, get the blade and see this. Also, I hope you all are staying warm out there. It is slightly freezing out there and I, I am tired, I will admit that. So let's go ahead, cut this thing open, all right. Tips for the perfect unboxing. That's what it says right here. Now, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. So it says on the inside here, document. Don't forget to photograph and film your unboxing. Share. Share your experience with the looter community. And it has links to Loot Crate. And then enjoy. To the looters, go the spoils. Enjoy your new swag. Awesome. Okay, first off, what is this? Okay, Loot Crate launch January 2014, issue 6. All right. So, okay, I'll show you all. This is it. I can't really show too much of it on here, unfortunately, just because honestly it would be boring if I just show myself flipping through a book right here. Um, but it has, it looks like it just has a decent amount of, you know, just random things. For example, there's a crossword puzzle right here. Um, and then just tidbits and such, random bits of information. Uh, interviews and everything. So actually, there's an interview with a systems engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Propulsion, excuse me, laboratory. So that's interesting to see. Um, honestly, probably some good bathroom reading. I'll admit that. So get that. And what is this? Okay, Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide illustrations by Sergio. Right there. Not gonna try and say his last name, but we got this. So for any Star Wars fans, this is awesome that they threw this in here. They normally have something Star Wars related in these is what I've noticed. I've only seen like one or two other boxes, but Star Wars seems to be a big recurring thing. So, I mean, you get two pieces of literature right here this month in case you're needing anything to read. But yeah, Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide in case anyone wants to see that. Let's see, anything else here? Okay, and we get a Domo here, a Domo Superman. Honestly, I actually do have a domo somewhere, so I'm probably going to take this to work and put it somewhere around there, but uh, Superman domo, in case you all want to see that, shows everything on the sides here and all that. And then there's some other ones as well, so they're going for the whole superhero theme right here. <laughs> Pretty interesting to see. Um, anything else on here? Okay, Star Wars again, we're definitely going with Star Wars, so Star Wars... Pocket model trading card game, Order 66. It is a game pack. Let's go ahead and open this up. So might as well use it. I don't really want to... Normally, I don't open these things because I really am not into trading cards or anything like that. But, you know, for the sake of this, I'll go ahead and open it up so you all can see what all's in here. All right, let's see. We got... Okay. Uh, let's see... Well, there's some trading cards here, so I'm not sure if anyone here watching is into the trading card game, but there are a few trading cards available here, of course. They give you 
Only six a deck. Okay. I mean, I used to play like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh and all that back in the day. It feels like just if you're getting six in a booster pack, uh, that seems kind of cheap. But uh, then you got the game rules here. Okay. So it comes with a nice game rule booklet in case you all want to play. Want to give it a shot. Honestly, I really don't know anybody else who plays this. I didn't even know this particular thing was available out there. So go ahead and put the instructions there. And then what all comes with this? Looks like there's some... I don't know if these are... Whoa. It comes with mini dice. That is actually really awesome. Okay, let's see. This looks actually like... Okay, I might actually use this. I might actually use these. Okay. This is actually kind of one of those uh, build-your-own things right here. So it comes with one of these nice little things. I don't know if my camera's picking it up the best right now because the focus I have it set on auto and then I have it on a tripod, but uh, it comes with one of these little figures. Let's see, another one as well. These are just, are these cutouts or not? Or wait, I'm not even sure, I'm not even 100% sure if these are cutouts. I think these are all just used in the game, but it looks like you do have to build, no, 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 you build something out of them, okay. And then it's the same thing here, from what I see. I actually poked this one out, but you build another little mech robot, I guess you can say, out of it. I'm sorry, I am ruining the Star Wars terminology right now, but uh, it looks like there's five in this pack, is what it looks like. So two on the first one I showed, and then three on the second one. And then right here, what do you get? You get some nice little stickers and decorations to put on them as well. Uh, so it looks like it's kind of going after the Warhammer tabletop vibe, I guess. And where were... Oh, yes. These were the dice. Okay. The, these dice are like... <laughs> these are just incredibly small dice is what it comes with. These are entertaining. I have to keep these somewhere that I'm not going to lose. So go ahead. Let's put all these to the side. I drop that. We're going to keep it there. All right, what do we get? We get a pin right here. First in space, January 2014 launch. All right, so I get a commemorative pin. Might as well pin it on me for now for the sake of this video. But uh, get a nice little pin to celebrate that I am launching with Loot Crate in the new year. So we have that there. What else? All right, whoa, okay, is this a graphic? Okay, it looks like there's a graphic, but this is a Rubik's Cube melting. Okay, so you could put that on a door or anything like that, but it's also kind of, feels like there's kind of a fabric to it too, almost. And actually, they mentioned that in the launch guide here. So the launch guide actually shows, uh, kind of helps you out with what all is in here. Let me find it first. But they went with the real big space thing on here space theme on here right here yeah melting rubik's cube wall graphic looks like this rubik's cube went through one too many speed runs this is why you have to keep iconic geek memorabilia away from warp cores <laughs> entertaining so nice little wall graphic you put you could put up somewhere i need to decide where i'm gonna put this but i will have to use it at one point and looks like we're coming near the end right here okay there we go have to go with star trek as well i know that's star trek that has to be <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not as well versed in that universe, but you do get one of these another nice little wall graphic So you get this you get the Rubik's Cube and that actually mentions it right back here. Yeah, 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 yeah Communicator badge. There we go. Slap this graphic onto your favorite red t-shirt red red shirt Excuse me. You don't have to use a t-shirt and always stay in communication with the Enterprise and the rest of your crew <laughs> Interesting to see all right. No, oh, it comes with more things here. Actually. Okay, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering this, but uh, I did not know. I, <laughs> I didn't look at any uh, loot crates previously, like uh, this month, and uh, this is my first one. So, okay, the entire back of the launch guide shows you what all it comes with. Okay, so the Superman pop vinyl and everything, and uh, there are a few things here. It comes with a patch as well. I'm not going to spoil what it is yet in case you all saw it, but it has this little NASA patch right here. So, I haven't seen one of these in a while. I don't know if patches are as popular as they used to be, but hey, it comes with a nice little NASA patch, and oh my goodness, I, wow, <laughs> I wish my brothers were here because I would give this to them in a heartbeat. It comes with a Minecraft 2014 mini calendar, so, and it says in there 16 months, where it normally says something on Minecraft, so you get a nice little Minecraft calendar, anyone that's getting it this month who's a Minecraft fan should be quite happy, so we have that. So you get a nice, decent amount of stuff there, and then back here, it has the Konami code. 
right inside the box. And uh, so that would actually make sense why we have the launch base right here. We are going with the whole space theme on here. So again, you know, we got the, I'll go ahead, you know, say everything as I put it back in for now, but we got a little Minecraft calendar. It is a mini calendar. Uh, we got a few nice little wall vinyl graphics right here, Star Trek and Rubik's Cube, of course. Um, a little NASA patch, and then some components for our Star Wars trading card game, and little dice in there, which is probably the thing I'm excited about the most, even though it is the smallest and probably the most relevant thing in there. But, uh, that whole pack, which I will throw in in pieces. Uh, the launch guide, which has, you know... A decent amount of cool stuff in there just from glancing at it right now and it explains everything that you do get so let's see what else is in here oh and in case you don't know um this was mentioned i remember boogie mentioned it one time but every month there is a epic mega crate right here so this is more than 500 dollars in value that means one lucky subscriber will be getting it this month for the month of january but it includes let's see a lego curiosity rover a star trek enterprise cutaway model a minecraft wall torch a star wars plush yeah star wars plus ships there we go so it looks like there's three in there star trek electronic tribble and oh no way they have those and a elgato game capture hd so Pretty worth it. Uh, I believe in November or December, from what I was seeing, the Epic Mega Crate was supposed to have both an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4. So I have no idea who got that, but <laughs> lucky guy, I guess. Or girl. Uh, finally, we've got the Domo Superman here, and of course, the little Star Trek. Star wow, I almost called it Star Trek. I'm sorry, I'm so out of it. I'm not trying to offend any fan base right now. I'm really not. The uh, Star Wars Galactic Phrase Book and Travel Guide. <laughs> So let's go ahead and throw that back in. So if you're really going for the space theme and all that, this month's box is awesome. I'll be honest, I thought it was all right, but hey, you know, January is normally a slow month, I guess. So there are, you know, normally they include pretty awesome stuff and you do get about your $20 worth of value out of each box. You know, there's definitely more than $20 worth of stuff in there. But I will admit this month I was kind of eh about it. But that's what happens. It was still cool, but I was expecting, I don't know, something even cooler with it. Uh, I remember I saw, I believe I saw the December unboxing. It was, the, it was either November or December. I don't remember which one. But one of them had like a little star. No, I, I almost said star again. Starts with an S. That's my defense right there. It had a little South Park character that was a speaker. So, And it was actually a high quality speaker for what it was. So, you know. It's hit and miss sometimes. It really depends on what you're into. But hey, let's see next month's crate, I guess. Anyways, no, this has probably been a little bit awkward because I have not done one of these before. But, uh, you know, if people want them, I'll probably do, you know, two more because I did get the three-month subscription. And it seems like it's worth it, so I'll probably be subscribed. And the loot crate seems like one of those things. The longer they go on for, the cooler stuff you're going to get. So, again, if you're interested in one, you can definitely check out the site. I'll have the links down in the description and everything. This has been the January 2014 Loot Crate Unboxing. This is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching, everyone, and be sure to stay warm.